The Troy Trojans will be back on the road looking for a strong start to the second half of the season, but they'll have to do it against a team with some of the conference's best on both sides of the ball. The Trojan offense is the strong point of the team, and their biggest concern might be Hilltoppers linebacker Xavius Boyd, who was awarded Sunbelt Defensive Player of the Week three weeks in a row this year, a first by anyone in the conference. They've been the best in the conference over the past couple years uh, defensive-wise, so they, they've got some good players at linebacker number four and the free safety number one. Uh, uh, NFL prospects, apparently, so we got to go up there and play a good football game and, and know where those guys are at all times. But on the other side of the ball, the Hilltoppers have one of the nation's best in the backfield, running back Antonio Andrews. Against Louisiana Lafayette, Andrews became the first in the nation to eclipse the 1,000-yard mark this season. As a defense, you know, we're very excited to be able to face them. You know, we know they're going to run the ball with that pro-style offense. So, um, you know, we, we can't wait. It's a challenge. A lot of people don't know, but we're, we're real physical up front. So I kind of welcome that. So it's just going to who, who's more physical up front. This will be homecoming for Western Kentucky, but for Trojan quarterback Corey Robinson, it's a bit of a homecoming as well. The Paducah, Kentucky native will be back in his home state, and he'll have the opportunity to take on Hilltoppers wide receiver Jamario Brown, who was his teammate in high school and became part of the Robinson family. You know, he, he moved in with us in high school. Uh, he was my best receiver, obviously, uh, in my high school. And he's just, uh, he's just we, we've grown into uh, basically brothers. Uh, he's lived with us, you know, still to this day, man. And uh, I consider him, you know, one of my best friends, uh, if not my best friend. And, um, you know, he's just a really, really great guy and a good football player. And, you know, I hope he I hope he has about 300 yards on us, you know. But I hope we win in the end. You know, I got to hope he does well all the time.